And yet another warning from the Forest Service. We are again moving into critical fire danger for the next few days. One local fire department has done more than its fair share in fighting not only these local brush fires, but helping out in major South Texas fires over the past week. It's the same theme for several area departments. Brian Burns has more. It's not uncommon for us to uh, either be mutual aiding our neighbors uh, anywhere in any direction, north, south, east, and west. Captain Ben Carrizales works at the Annabelle Fire Department. He says this has been a bad year for wildfire calls, and we're only three months into it. So far, I would probably guesstimate we're probably pushing maybe close to 50. Um, just like you said, in ranging from anything small, um, to the larger fires. According to the Texas A&M Forest Service, conditions are good for wildfires today all over South Texas. This map shows where firefighting crews are positioned around the state in the event we have blazes that become uncontrollable. The Texas A&M Forest Service says we are seeing similar conditions to past years that have been particularly bad. We have been above normal and trending similarly to active years like 2006, 2008, 2009, and 2011. Gonzalez says in addition to the more than 300 firefighters from Texas A&M Forest Service, more than 170 Texas Intrastate Fire Mutual Aid System firefighters, as well as personnel from 28 states, have been mobilized to assist with response efforts. This deployment map shows a majority of those personnel have been deployed to West and Central Texas and currently none in our part of the state. A week ago, the Anneville Fire Chief decided to put two new brush trucks into service early and the trucks were pressed into service for some of the biggest fires of the year in South Texas. That truck specifically made three different fires and they started off heading uh, to Encino and then later on that evening they moved back up to Falfurious and then uh, ended up in the, uh, I believe it's the Brago fire there in Kingsville. More fires are potentially on the way depending on how dry and hot it stays. I would say this is a new record that I've seen as far as acres burned and I think we're into probably 10 to 20,000 acres already. Brian Burns, 3 News. All right, Brian, thank you. Well